All right, here's the fire hydrant. We gotta do our locates down here. We got a valve right down here. We'll try to get after the valve, see if we could mark this water main. And we probably got a valve right here. So what we'll do after we hook onto that valve by the fire hydrant, we're gonna compare it with this mantle here. See if our marks line up with the water main. Ductile, folks, duct ductile. Alright, sure I get the son of a gun open. Oh, it's easy. It'll open up. Hello? Well, I don't know if you can see this, but the valve's way down there. I gotta get down to that center nut, because the center nut should be steel. The center nut should be steel. Can you see this, guys? I hope you can see down there. I'm trying to zoom in. But that center nut, shiny. <laughs> I hope this rod's long enough. I hate to lose a rod down there. I hate to lose my flashlight down there too. Oh yeah. Alright, so we're on that knot. Try, I gotta try like center this right here so it's not touching that steel down there or grounding out this rod. If it grounds out this ground out this rod, it won't do us any good locating it. Get my lucky probe. I guess I'll just put it right back here. Hopefully there ain't no utilities I just went through. Ugh. This ground. Oh, this ground's tough. I, only, I probably, go, probably only got three inches into the ground. Like I always say, people, ground out your box first, just in case if something wants to get funky happen, you don't want to zap. But the electrical box is over there, so I ain't worried about it. So I got my lead, it's centered, it's holding it in the back so it's not touching any metal, and let's see the output. I'm getting 54, 54, the ground has to go down more, the ground rod. After looking at all the prints, I determined there was no other utilities in this area where my ground stake is. So I had to hammer it down with a hammer. But when I hammer it down, I did it nice and easy, just in case if I'm wrong. But now you can see. My milliamps is 98. High resistance, 29.9. That's where I'm getting 99 milliamps. Three bars of output. I'm getting a pretty decent tone. Reading about six feet. Compass is straight. Milliamps don't mean shit because you're on cast iron high resistance you need it to be on a higher higher frequency 
So my compass is tilting. I must be getting out to the center of the valve. So I'm gonna sweep past this valve. Seven feet, so I'm looking pretty good. Now I just have to bump it up a little bit. Or a lot. Just to get it traveling. Let's go see how it how knows out. So regular, no, I'm not liking. Guidance mode looks to be more smoother. So we'll go with guidance mode. Like I said, folks, if you ain't trained on guidance mode, don't use it until you get properly trained. So it's knowing over my peak. So we're getting, we're getting close to that valve there, so it's throwing my compass off. So I have to pull a line right here. And There you go. Let me just make this a little straighter. To see that one there's offset. I think it's more right here in line, nice and straight. You just have to make a little adjustments after you mark it out and stand back and look and see the straightness because the water main will run straight and you can see way down there by a fire hydrant another valve it looks like it's lining up pretty good with that and um so now it's nice and straight. Let's see if inside that valve, if it's offset to the left. And it lines up. Moment of truth, folks. Let's see. How well did I do? Let's get down there and take a look, folks. What do you think? Did I nail this one? Or not? I see the saddle, I see the valve. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me get some light on it. There's a water rate, 12 inch. There's a valve. Going out the other way. So this one here, if you look at it, it looks like it's dead nuts. With my line. It's actually right on it. 
friend of me. So I gotta say that this lines up, this, this lines up with the water main that's in here. Excellent. So if you need to locate the water main, you're getting a good response, a good tone off the, off this valve here. So off this valve from the fire hydrant, you get an excellent tone, a good tone, and it, it's carrying me out and it's aligned with the water main perfectly on 9.8 kilohertz. So my recommendation folks, locating water main, fire hydrant, don't go off the fire hydrant itself, find the valve, go out to the center nut of the valve, locate it out, and your result should be the same. You just might have to adjust your lines after you mark it out, because no one might push you you know, one way or another, and this line up because the water main should run straight. All right, folks, this will complete this video. I got this water main marked out accurately this time. Guys, please like, subscribe, and have a great day.